Hello YouTube, hello Internet, it's Irix Guy here. Uh, I wanted to take a moment to review the uh, Breitling Super Avenger. It's a certified chronograph as well as a certified chronometer by the COSC, which is an institute in Switzerland that uh, conducts a series of tests to ensure that a timepiece meets whatever criteria. And chronograph means that it's uh, <clears throat> basically the way to think of chronograph is it's kind of like a stopwatch. You can see the three white dials. Uh, the the uh, the top one is minutes. The bottom one is hours, and the left one is seconds. Now you can see the left one, which is part of the uh, part of the chronograph function, also functions as a uh, as a second hand for the for the watch itself. So <clears throat> a lot of people might look at a Breitling and say, oh, that's not real, your, uh, your second hand's not sweeping. No, this red hand up here, that's, that's for, the, uh, for the chronograph function. Just the standard uh, mo uh, movement that you'll see while the, while the timepiece is in use without the, uh, without the chronograph engaged is the is this here as you can see on the left second hand and it sweeps it's got a really good sweep movement now to engage the uh, the chronograph what I would do is push this top button so I'm going to do that right now and now you can see the <clears throat> the big the big hand is sweeping that's the chronograph hand at the top, or of course on the left, you've got seconds, which are also the seconds for the, for the chronograph. At the top, you've got minutes. And at the bottom, you've got hours. So what this will do, it will continue to, uh, you'll see here when it hits a minute, that, uh, that hand will move. It's pretty neat. I'm going to just wait for it to do that. And as you can see, the movement of both the uh, the uh, chronograph as well as just the standard second hand, it's all very smooth. Now, Breitling just started producing their own in-house movements, also known as manufacturer movements. This particular one does not have. Uh, see, you saw it tick to one, and that process will continue until it goes through twice, which is sixty actually 59 and when it hits uh, when it hits the 60 second mark you'll see this jump up to one to indicate one hour so it's really cool now to, to stop the uh, the chronograph function all you've got to do is push the top button again so now it's stopped if you were timing a race or something like that and need to start it again you could but if you need to clear it and set it back just push the bottom button And now you can see it's reset. The uh, the chronograph hand is at the 12 o'clock mark, and also the hours dial, which it never moved because we didn't hit an hour, and the minutes is reset to uh, re reset. And now all we have is just the regular time, uh, you know, second hand moving there. Now, a few things I'd like to point out about this timepiece. It is great. Um, the part you see here around it, that's referred to as the bezel. One of the options for this particular uh, Breitling is a diamond bezel. I'm not into that kind of stuff, so I didn't get it. Uh, also, where, where mine has the numbers, you can also get Roman numerals on the dial. And this is a black dial. Now, with the uh, sapphire crystal, it kind of gives it a, a little bit of a bluish effect. It looks more black in this video, but sometimes in real life it'll look kind of blue. And you can see it's just really great. I mean, it's really big, commanding wrist presence. I mean, you couldn't, you couldn't, well, you, you could, but you probably wouldn't want to wear this unless you had a big hand. Because on certain people, this looks really, uh, really looks overwhelming. Uh, this is just the Pro 2 bracelet. It's a uh, stainless steel bracelet. Also got a leather strap with it. I, I purchased this in uh, St. Thomas at 
at a place called Jules. It's on the they're an authorized dealer for Breitling. They're on the front road when you pull in by boat to the uh, to Charlotte Amelie or Emily, however you say it. So now I'll take it off here. Let me show you some detail here first. You can see it's it's got a lot of uh, a lot of good detail. Of course, the bezel, and I've got to put the camera down so you can do it. But it's it's unidirectional, so you can turn it to the left counterclockwise. See, I turned it. You can see it's in a different place now. That's handy if you want to if you want to time something like you're diving or whatever, and you want to you know know how long you're down without using the chronograph function. Uh, one thing I would like to point out this middle part right here. It is a screw down crown, but even though it's screwed down, you you've got to make really sure that it's screwed down tightly or it'll leak. And actually, this one did leak on me. And I had to send it back to, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, back to Breitling USA for free uh, warranty service. They had to, they had to get in and clean out the inside, and uh, I mean it, it was a mess. But so always remember that. And then also the date wheel on this. If you try to adjust the date anywhere close to the 12 o'clock mark, you're likely going to break the wheel that makes the date move. So if your date quits, work, quits working on your Breitling. It's probably because you attempted to adjust the date uh, around the 12 o'clock mark. I always, I always keep it um, at least a few hours away from the 12 o'clock mark before I adjust the date. Just another word of caution with this timepiece. Um, also, the sapphire crystal is nice, but it does tend to show subtle scratches. You can't really see them in the video, but... Uh, my Omega Seamaster, for example, I've had it for, I don't know, about 12 years or so, and I don't have a single scratch on the Sapphire Crystal. Uh, this Breitling I've only had since 2009, and there's some subtle scratches on the glass. Not that it's a problem, but just something to be aware of. And then also this, uh, this stainless steel, <clears throat> although it looks really good, it does tend to show scratches, and it also shows fingerprints. So... It's not like a uh, another type of finish that you might opt for that would that would show uh, uh, wear and tear less. But let me take it off and let's look at the uh, the back of it and the band. So you can see here, this is the uh, deployment clasp. It says Breitling Modelo Depuze. Manufacture in Suisse, which is Switzerland. And then on the back, you've got a bunch of detail on the uh, on the back there. It's got some measurements. It's got um, chronograph, certifi, chronometer intechi, 300 meters. So it's supposedly water resistant up to 300 meters. It is a dive watch. Um, you know, as I said earlier, I I would be sure that that you've firmly screwed down the crown before diving with it, or even getting in a swimming pool. And and that's about it. I mean, it's it's a great, uh, really great timepiece. I've enjoyed it a lot so far. And if I had it to do over, I would not have wish that I'd purchased anything else. I mean, like uh, like Rolex and Omega, the Breitlings are increasing their prices annually, so um, had I not gotten this a few years ago, I probably wouldn't have because of the, the price point that it's at now, but anyway, uh, that's all I got. I hope you enjoyed the uh, the video review, and, and feel free to check out my other videos on YouTube also. Have a good one.